Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Bailey's and Tea Saturday with me, Shanna, from the Carrot Tops Creative Co. I've got my Bailey's and Tea in my little mug. As you hop on, say hello. I'll get you up and going here so I can see comments on the other side. Maybe. If my iPad wants to cooperate with me today. Oh, technology. You gotta love it, right? So what's everybody up to this Saturday morning? Up and at them nice and early? We're not quite out of bed yet. There we go. Volumes turned down so I don't come blasting at you. Okay, we're ready to rock. I think. Okay, yep, yeah, we are. Okay, so as I said, say good morning as you pop on. Let me know who's out there and playing along with me or just watching for the fun of it and let me know what you're up to on this wonderful Saturday morning. Maybe you're enjoying a cup of tea as well. Just a few things to chitty chat about before we jump into our project. Um, celebration is coming to an end at the end of the month. So we're gonna have a little play today with a couple of products from that. One that was um, initially released in the catalog and then we've got a lovely bunch of things that got added on afterwards so one of those products we're going to play today was an add-on to that so it's lots of fun so as you hop on say hello i'm going to flip you around uh, you don't need to see me anymore and uh, we'll get right into the projects and then all the extras that i like to share with you so if you get kind of dizzy look away for a second while i flip you and uh, we'll get started I got that down pat, don't I? There we go. Get the glare off of that. Oh, hopefully the sound will pick up. It looks like my iPods have switched to my phone, but we should be okay. All right, so celebration ends at the end of August, so we're coming to an end real quick. Couple things that are out of stock, as I've told you before, are the cards and envelopes, which we are going to use today as a background, and these wonderful tree lot dies. But, friends, of course, I'm stocked up and ready to go. So, if you've missed something, as when I ask in my posts if you um, have created anything with what I'm showing you, please post a picture. That's how you get into draws to win prizes and fun things, and um, so you may have missed out on one of those items that uh, is now not available anymore and you may be able to win it. So post your creations because I want to see them and so does everyone else. Oh, you couldn't, you couldn't hear me. Got me now though. Okay, good Rhonda. Good morning. How are you? How's the weather out on the island? Uh, it started to rain here today, so I don't know what that's about, but we'll deal with it. So, the wonderful Aspen tree dies here that you can get free with $120 purchase. These are gorgeous, you guys. You have to, have to invest in these. They've got some beautiful leaves, which we'll use on our project. They've got sort of a flower bunch here. Um, there is a stamp set in the catalog on page 46 um, called Perched in a Tree that goes with these. So this die here cuts out this cute little fat bird. Okay. You've got some splatters in the stamp set, which are always good to have. And then there's a die that cuts out this lovely branch here. And then the main focus is this gorgeous, gorgeous birch trees. So here it is cut out in, um, put it on the back here, cut out of just some black cardstock and look how gorgeous it is. So a lot of the cards I'm doing today are featuring this lovely cutout so that you don't need to have the stamp set per se, you can just have the die set, which is great because with your celebration purchases, you can get that. So I wanted to draw attention to it because it's 
gorgeous and it has so many other uses um, other than just say Christmas um, it's got some beautiful sentiments if you did want to add the stamp set to it no matter the season I'm here for you that heaven and nature sing which is obviously Christmas wishing you an abundance of peace and joy and um, no that's not what it says wishing you abundant joy and peace your kindness warms my heart which is really cute so some great offerings still there. And then of course they added in a bunch of embossing folders, some of the foil, um, the flower and home dies, the dots and the dots and spots die. I can't talk today, um, which I ordered cause I love it. Um, craft gift boxes. So if you're planning Christmas gifts for neighbors, friends, work colleagues, anything like that, those little boxes are very, very cute to package your cards in. And then the daffodil dies, which we, um, had in the spring catalog um, they've offered as well so that's the aspen tree dies there so you've got till the end of the month uh, these are in the catalog so it's not something that you can't get um, after the celebration ends but it is something that um, you can get for free with purchases you're already making and stocking up and stuff like that so that is those another product we're going to feature today is the silver and gold specialty paper which is super fun. So you've got gold dots and silver dots. And then you've got silver and gold stripes. So I'll ha I have a sample of a card using the gold stripes to show. But we're going to use, as I said, the product that is now gone. So that is, let me just get my little envelope here, is those um, cards and envelopes. So I tend to not use these. I don't know why I like our plain white ones and then I can stamp on them and decorate them. These are gorgeous, don't get me wrong. Um, they've got some nice little leaf detail um, and some leaves on the flap. But this paper inside, you rip it open and look at it, it's gorgeous. So you've got your own DSP right here that you can cut up. So that's what I did. I just cut out this big section, cut it down to a backer for myself, and that's what we're gonna use as a backer piece to our card. So here it is cut down. So let's jump in and get to our card, eh? What does everybody say? We got cooler and muggy. Yeah, that's kind of what we are. We're supposed to get to 32 this afternoon, Raja, but I don't know, it's been raining all night. You've been looking at this one. Oh, it's so cute. The fat bird had me. He had me at fat little bird. <laughs> Morning, Valerie. So we've got our card base. That is um, thick cardstock. Um, five and a half by eight and a half. Scored at four and a quarter in the middle as our standard base. We have our layered piece, which is four by five and a quarter, which is our standard sort of um, next layering up size. Um, that I've cut out of the birch trees. And then we've got our DSP from our envelope um, that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So it's just gonna layer in behind like that, but you've got a little tiny bit of a border around. So just like that, hopefully the camera will pick that up. So that creates sort of like a little leafy scene in behind, which you can create with stamps, don't get me wrong, or the splatter in the stamp set. Um, you can create any sort of background um, doing that if you don't want to cut up your envelopes, but I'm okay to cut up my envelopes. You got wet walking Molly. Oh, for you. So we are going to now, do you want to see the finished card before, or do you want me to just put it together and then you see it? You let me know. Well, I kind of get my pieces organized off to the side here. Let me know, see it before or just jump in and show you how to create it. No answer? Okay, I'll keep it a secret till you answer me. So what I'm gonna do is just take my glue and just run a little bit around the die cut so that I can glue it to my DSP piece. You don't need a lot, less is more with this glue. It's quite um, sticky. It's 
so you don't need to go crazy. We'll flip that over. Actually, I'm going to do it this way so then you can see better what I'm doing. So I'm just lining up the back and so I've created a little border for myself and you got a little bit of wiggle room with this glue too which is nice. So we'll stick that down. Yeah, I think you should invest in the fat little bird, Rhonda. It's so cute. And so we've got that. So that's going to be our layering piece. Nice, easy, simple. We're going to take some dimensionals and we're going to put that onto the back of this and pop it up onto our card front just to give it a little bit of dimension. And once you see my extra samples, Rhonda, you're going to be sold on this set. I guarantee it have that effect on people. <laughs> Make you buy things you don't really need, right? It's okay. I've accepted it. I'll take blame. All right, so we'll put that over and we will center that as best I can without being over top of it and see. Okay, and then we've got some gorgeous leaves. So these are the leaves cut out of the um, Pool Party cardstock. Aren't they so pretty? The detail in them. They're just gorgeous. Big fat leaves that you can manipulate. And then out of my favorite paper, the Distress Gold, I've cut two more as well. So the gold and the Pool Party just, oh, they just pop. Okay, so now we're going to layer our leaves. So I'm just going to kind of stage them out ahead of time, just so I know what I'm going for. So we're kind of going for a little bit of a look like that. And then we're going to have our sentiment down at the bottom as well. So I think that'll work. Just a little bit of glue, or you could use a dimensional or a glue dot, whatever you have handy. I just have the glue right next to me, so I might as well use that. And I'm just sort of layering them over top of each other. And I'm not gluing the whole thing, I'm just gluing sort of the top of, or the bottom of it, sorry, near the stem. I think my glue is almost out. And then I'm gonna flip this one sort of, um, to the other side so that uh, it's got a little bit of dimension there. Then I need my linen thread. I've moved everything around on my desk. So Valerie, do you have this perched in a tree set? Is it on your wish list? I know Rhonda's thinking about it. I may have sold her. And so I'm tying a double bow. I guess I should show you what I'm doing here, sorry. Um, so I just kind of loop it on itself as much as I think I need. You may have to play around with this depending on how big you want your loops and the length that you need. And then you find at the end that you need to cut off. So one of the loops will be your cutoff. Mm, it's not quite long enough, so let me just make that longer and try it again. So really you're just getting a double, double bow. But I want it to stick out from underneath my sentiment, so I want my little ears to be fairly big and then just pull your tails until you get what you want. That should work. And then cut off the extra. And then your little loop, you'll just wanna to cut to make two little tails. Just throw that out of the way. And then sometimes, because it's spooled up on that little cardboard thing, you have to kind of play around and uh, straighten it out a little bit. And so this bow is just going to go down here like that. And we're going to use a glue dot to attach that. Okay. 
You have a fat bird at your feet right now. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> we had, um, oh, I think it's a chickadee. I'm not a real bird person. Know which one is what. Um, sitting on our fence this morning. I've taken down all my flowers because they died in the heat this week. So I don't know if he was looking for some seed or what, but we're going to put up some feeders, I think. Drive the dogs crazy with the birds flying around. So I've just kind of put that on an angle and I secured that with my glue dot. And then I've got the sentiment, no matter the season, I'm here for you, just on a piece of crumb cake embossed with white. Um, the crumb cake piece is one by three inches. And then we're just gonna layer that sort of over top of our bow and just like that. Pretty, right? Now it may look familiar because it's out of the catalog. <laughs> it is too gorgeous not to show you how to make it. But don't you worry, don't you fret. I've got other samples to show you too. But this one is so pretty, I needed to recreate it. So I don't know who the designer is because we have the artisans that um, do different things. Oh, I didn't do the sponging. Sorry, it's not exactly out of the catalog, I'm lying to you. My sample will look like out of the catalog because I sponged it. So here's the picture. Um, basically, they just sponged with some, I used gray granite on mine. Um, you could use smoky slate. Uh, and they just kind of highlighted the birch branch before they did it. I totally didn't even look at my sample and copy it. But um, that kind of just highlights it a bit more, which is pretty as well. So either way, when I put them side by side, you're gonna say I love them both and that's okay. So here is the other one that I did highlight with gray granite. I should have looked at my sample as I was creating. Pretty, right? I love it. I love it. What do you guys think? You tell me. Oh, you don't have a set, Valerie. Oh, maybe I convince you too. <laughs> So you know, I shared this card with you a while ago, and this is the little fat bird that got me, right? And I have a bunch of the um, Horizon Designer Series paper left, which you may as well, because it was gorgeous, and I'm sure we all stocked up. And then um, just doing some splatter with my blender pens, and uh, just created a little background scene. This die set is great for backgrounds, so that's another reason why you may want to add it to your collection, because it's absolutely phenomenal. But a good technique to use that free paper, that silver and gold specialty paper, is to use your blender pens and do some coloring. So this one I've just sort of done some fall coloring. Some, um, oh, what did I use? Mary Merlot and some pumpkin pie. And then with the die cut that I showed you earlier, just layering that in behind. I'll just put it on my desk so you can see better. And then taking a few elements. So these are out of the um, textured chic, chic sorry, um, stamp set. Stamping those in just some fall colors. Add in sort of, you know, some foils. And you've got, add a little sentiment and you've got a great sort of fall background as well. You love that one too, Rhonda? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of just adds a pop when you um, when you use the um, sponge dauber and just kind of highlight those things. And obviously you want to do it before you attach it to your designer series paper. So isn't that pretty? And then another option is a wintry scene and doing it with Night of Navy. And it kind of looks like snow when you put it in behind, right? I love it. Great way to use up this paper if you've gotten it. And then I've just gotten some little elements. I have a little bowl that has all my little extras in it. So I just pulled out um, one of those wonderful snowflakes, which you could just add there. And then you could um, put a little penguin. I had him in my little collection. And then, you know, uh, a Christmassy warm wishes or something like that, that, um, you could put on there so it's kind of cute or you could do a whole little family of penguins down there and then another one for fallish because you know halloween's around the corner 
I took the gold striped one and I did a little Halloween background one. So this set is retired. That's the cute pumpkins that came out last year. And then these are the Pika Hoot dies that uh, are a couple of years ago now with the, um, the glittered black designer series paper. And then this, the, um, I can't talk today. The spiders are just embossed in white and then I use my chalk marker. So some retired stuff on this stamp, on this thing, but you may have these in your collection. So a great way to use them or use something um, with the newest pumpkins that have come out that would look gorgeous as well. I just thought this was super cute. So that's a little folly Halloween-y one that you can create with this. So, so many possibilities with this paper and with that background. What do you think, you guys? What background on this fat bird, Rhonda, do you mean? Or are you talking with the backgrounds that I showed you here? With these ones with the blender pens or with the blender brushes, I apologize. You tell me which one and then I'll tell you what it is again. Then I'll show you some more samples and then I'll answer that when you type it out. So this one uses the gold and silver DSP from the celebration, um, kind of making like a snowy background. And then of course that brushed or distressed gold paper. This is very simple. The little banner was just tucked in behind the birch cutout and then just some simple gold brush dots very easy very simple cards put together um, just on crumb cake cardstock and using that designer series paper so showing you how to use up that designer series paper the dotted so that is out of the celebration that's the silver and gold specialty paper it's six by six and then it comes with the stripes and the um, gold and silver dots so that's in the catalog. That's the $60 um, level to get that. Yes, the foil DSP, that's it. And then this one is a great way to use. So when you have this, you'll have a negative cutout. So I just use this negative cutout. I took a piece of four by six um, layering. I put that over top. I took my um, blender brush and my crumb cake ink and I blended out the trees. Okay. And then I took the, um, oh, which one is it? The timber embossing folder. I always want to call it woodland, but that woodland is expired or is retired. And then I took some, I don't know if the shimmer will pick up, but this is shimmery white cardstock for the tree or for the bird and the branch that I watercolored with just some different coloring and and my watercolor brush. And then um, I added the linen thread and just a little sentiment piece that I had lying around. And you've created sort of that negative silhouette on that background. Isn't that gorgeous? And this isn't my design. This is Claire Daly. She's an Australian demo. Um, but she did this negative space. I thought that was brilliant. So I did uh, a rendition of the card that she had done. So isn't that pretty? So yeah, you have another option to make a stencil and then use it for, um, other options as well. You could also do it, um, over this paper and do the same thing and just have that negative space filled in. So those are my samples for you, everyone. So have I convinced you to buy the um, Aspen tree dies and the maybe perched in a tree to go with it, but you do not need to have them um, go together. Um, but obviously that bird won't cut out anything for you if you don't have this set or the, the, br the branch you could use definitely um, in other things, but, um, and then the splatters. So you can create, as I said, the background of this with those splatters instead of using your um, your celebration envelopes if you want to use those as regular envelopes so almost what I got to do to tip you over the edge Valerie <laughs> you'll see my extra samples on my Facebook page uh, Carrot Tops Creative Co on Wednesday I always share a bunch of extras there that you don't see in the live so you've got some extra inspiration and um, There'll be some other celebration shares this week 
as I create some more goodies to show you what um, is still available to get during celebration till the end of the month and then we move on. Uh, classes will resume in Jan or in January. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, in September. So I'm just planning out all that. So watch the page for uh, the events as they get posted and sign up um, for the ones that you like. And as far as I know, there's nothing too pressing in Stampin' Up! World. Um, everything seems to be on track. There are a few um, bundles and stuff that are um, on low inventory or going out of stock, but um, they will be back shortly. So if there's something that doesn't pop up for you, um, just give me a dingle and I will um, help sort that out or um, let you know when it will be back in stock. Good morning, Carla. You just got this set. Awesome. You're going to love it. And if you rewatch from the beginning, you'll see some fun ideas um, to use it for. So um, that's all I got for you, friends. I hope to see you. Let's see. I won't see you till after the long weekend. And then I'm going to um, resume back to weekly Saturday instead of every other Saturday. And um, later on today, I'm hoping, depending on how my day goes, I am going to pop on and create with the paper pumpkin kit that just came. Um, it's gorgeous. I know Valerie said she wanted to see what it makes. So pop back on later. I'll post as soon as I decide on a time. I will post, but it will probably be around, say, 8 o'clock clock 8 30 ish my time which would be in bc i don't know what time what are you guys an hour behind me <laughs> um, i haven't lived there in five years i can't remember um yeah so that'd be 7 30 I, I might go as late as nine here so let's just say nine we'll say nine my time eight your time i'll pop on and do some fun things with um and show you that um kit it's gorgeous i have to say in the how long have I been getting paper pumpkin? About a year and a half. Um, that has to be the best one, but I may be because I'm fond of sunflowers. So pretty much anything will get me um, on sunflowers, but the watercoloring is just gorgeous. And the box, hello, like wrap it up. It's a present right there. So hopefully there's some refills available on that. Okay, so tune back in later today. I'll post the event and I'll post a reminder about a half an hour before. Um, as I always do. And you have a wonderful Saturday. Thank you. It's great to see and chat with all of you. And um, happy creating if that's what you're doing today. And I will see you later on. Take care. Paper hugs. Bye-bye. <laughs>